Hey guys, this is Emerald Fire, and today I'm going to talk about the speed of a player while sneaking. It is a well-known fact that while sneaking, moving diagonally is faster than moving straight. This does not apply to walking, um, but the game calculates speed for sneaking slightly differently for some reason. Now, some people think that this makes you go twice as fast, and others disagree. But today, I'm going to test it and see which one is correct. Now, uh, this setup is two trip wires, each on a pole. So the red is the start, the green is the finish. Uh, what these will do is, this one sets my score for time to zero. This one places a redstone block on that quartz, which starts a clock that increments one to time every one-tenth of a second. So you'll just have to imagine a decimal place right after the tens place. And this one simply gets rid of that redstone block. So I will begin the test. First, I will be moving straight through the lines to find out how fast sneaking is completely straight. And to make sure I am completely straight, I'll turn on F3. And if you look right here, that will show you my angle. So I want to get that as close to zero as possible. There we go. E negative four, that means we've got three zeros after the decimal place. That is good enough for me. So let's begin the test. And the clock starts ticking. Each of the tens place, the tens place changes once every second and finish. There we go. 10.2 seconds. Not bad. Now let's try it diagonally. I'll just reset my time even though it does it automatically. And now I'm going to go to a 45 degree angle to make sure I am diagonal. And almost there. There. That's pretty close. And here we go. For this I'm holding down both W and D, of course. And as you can see, it is already quite faster. But if we finish the first one in 10.2 seconds, and this one is 7.2 seconds, that is clearly not twice as fast. To explain what's going on here, I'll hop over to a little slideshow and throw some math at you. Okay, so here I have just made a little arrow with VZ that represents the speed we went in the first test. It was just a straight line and it had a velocity of let's say VZ. I didn't actually measure the distance but it's not important really. Uh, we're just looking for speed and time. Next I made a little diagram that shows what happened in the second test. When we pressed the D key we moved with this velocity in this direction and pressing the W key also caused us to move in this direction with this velocity. So it ended up looking like this, which was a straight line along the course of the track. So like I said, we have a 45 degree angle. That's the angle that I turned to walk in a straight line. And if you'll allow me, I would just like to turn this triangle on its side for demonstration purposes. Everything's still the same, it's just at a different angle, and now we can see things better. Uh, this is a right angle here, clearly, so this is also a 45 degree angle. So we've got a nice isosceles triangle here. So if I were to label this velocity in the x direction and velocity in the z direction, uh, you can see that this will be just the velocity we traveled at. And this is the same as the vz I showed you at the first one, because it is the speed in which we move in one direction in Minecraft while sneaking. We know that for all triangles, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So using that, we can solve for the green v in terms of the other two. So we'll just substitute in the values and then take the square root. Next, we also know that the velocity in one particular direction, be it in the x direction or the z direction, is the same. So we can just go ahead and say that they're equal. They are. It's common sense, really, but mathematically it's still the same because it's an isosceles triangle. And then, once we substitute that in, we can combine them, pull out the vz, and we get 
v equals vz times the square root of 2. Now that we have this, we can test whether it's correct or not, because this right here means that when you're moving diagonally while sneaking, you are going square root of 2 times as fast as when you are moving straight. And what we have that we will be able to test this with is the times of the trials. So if we recognize that velocity equals distance over time, we can set up some equations where velocity in the z direction, uh, this is for the first test by the way, vz equals distance over the time of the first test. Like I said, distance doesn't matter. They will cancel out shortly. And velocity of the second test equals the same distance divided by the time of the second test. So we'll just move over the t's, and now that both equations solve for d, we can set them equal to each other like this. Then we can also replace v with vz times the square root of 2, so we'll get this right here, and then we can cancel out the vz's by dividing both sides of the equation, and we get t1 equals the square root of 2 times t2. And if this is correct, we can just check it with the calculator. t1 was 10.2 seconds, and t2 was 7.2 seconds. So if we multiply the square root of 2 by 7.2, we should get something close to 10.2. Whoops. Okay. Square root of 2 times 7.2. Sorry about that. And yeah, it's just about 10.2. So the math checks out. The trials support the data. And um, that doesn't seem right. I don't think I said the right thing just now. But basically, it is a fact that moving diagonally in Minecraft while sneaking is the square root of 2 times faster than moving in one direction. And that's how it is. I, I hope you all enjoyed this little proof, and I hope you can learn something from this. I don't know. I don't know what you would learn. It's just math. Nobody likes math. That's it. End of the video. Goodbye.